The story I'm about to tell you is not a fairy tale. Even if it talks of werewolves, the devil, and much worse still. It happened to me and my two brothers in that forsaken month of December 1858, near the village of Wolvesville in Lower Canada. My name is John McCarrick with the Lugheads, and I'm going to play Song Freud, Tale of Werewolves. I cannot describe how excited I am for this game. It looks awesome. I loved it from the very first time I saw it, and I am going to start playing it right now. Alright. Well, anyone who has uh, seen me in APB knows I love Lumberjacks, so I am going to go with this guy. Difficulty level normal. Joss excels in both in close combat and with traps. Is that Joe? No, it's Joss. Oh, Joseph. Got it. To Joss. <laughs> Joseph to Joss O'Call. Ah, Joss was a sickly child and almost died after a bad fall from a tree. But his mother, a famous Inu witch, used her magic spells so effectively to heal him that he grew up with an iron constitution and extraordinary health. Sorry, strength, actually. Enticed by the high pay they offered him, Joe... Oh, sorry. <laughs> it looks like Joe's. Or, it is Joe's. It looks like Joe. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyways, Joe took up a job as a lumberjack at the W. Hood Company at a very young age. After the forced exile of his brother Jack, who was wanted by the authorities for his role in the Patriot Rebellions of 1837, Joe bought a little property in the village of Wolfsvale. Where he... Oh, gee, Wolfsvale. That sounds foreboding. Where he lives with his sister, sister Josephine. All right, I choose you, Pikachu. And if this is okay, I guess we'll just do one. A carrot. We'll play as the other guy, Jack, at some point. Okay, interesting. This is going to be a cutscene. I haven't touched this game at all. This is the first time I've even watched it. Hmm, for some reason, no, many villagers on Wolf's Vale have noticed a lot of strange behavior coming from the unusual. There are even rumors that they've been possessed by the devil. Recommended traps, wolf trap, oh, figures, hanging nut, and spike trap. Oh! That is a very poorly drawn wolf, but okay. Exile in return, December 5th. I'm As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest to see your hermit brother? More like a storm, I'm afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy! Doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the door post. The thing is, you see, Jacques, I'm not alone. 
Don't worry. It wasn't my day to come here, brother. Without okay, Joseph to I'm protect sorry, the me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. Did you hear that? Sounds like a wolverine's outside spooking our horses. Since you're going to be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away, will ya? Meanwhile, I'll heat up some tea for our sister. You best take good care of her. She's got a fever. Well then, that was a friendly welcome. Thanks to you assholes, I'm now going to be fighting wolves. I notice a disturbing amount of pants on me right now. I will attempt to remove that. <laughs> okay, walking is simply WSD. Uh huh. Rotate the camera. Got it. I've played video games before. Oh, what? Wolves! I'll be damned. The horses are dead, and your Wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. The pack must be close by. Okay. Why did they assume it was a wolverine, anyways? Well, I guess that is Canada. They have wolverines in Canada, don't they? No, uh, they, they're clearly only in, like, you know, Washington State. Ooh. Damn! <laughs> I apparently got <laughs> six cents off of that. I hear wind. Oh! Spooky. Okay, alright, I see a little stand on the bar pack there, apparently sprinting and fighting <coughs> both drain it. Is there a block? I guess I'll find out. Bridge to the village is burning! Looks like I'm gonna be staying with Jack longer than expected. I don't see a river down there. Can't we just, like, walk? Oh, hello. Combat. <laughs> Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen. You know, while your stamina like heart, right? is represented by the green bar. You use stamina for each out. attack you make. If you run out of stamina, then your attacks are slow and weak. Hmm. You accumulate rage for each attack you land on an enemy. The fire on the HUD and on your axe indicates that you have some rage built up. Right click to unleash all your rage. <laughs> To evade enemy attacks, you I can press the space bar my to perform a you. dodge roll. Okay, so you can't jump, but you can roll. That seems to be a recurring theme with a lot of games lately. Okay, I see things on the minimap. <laughs> Unleash my rage! Oh, jeez! <laughs> the music is so cheery. Help! Help! Please help! I'm coming! <laughs> help! What can you do to the Help! May Saint Dan have mercy on me! For the love of God, please help me! It's just some dogs. I ain't no biggie. Come here, puppy. Oh. Oh. I'll get another tutorial. The rifle. <gasps> I have a rifle? To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. Oh, sweet. To reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. Okay. This icon appears when your rifle is loaded. Your crosshair will be red if you have no target. Yeah. Or if your target is out of range. Okay. It will be yellow if you're auto-locked onto an enemy. If you aim carefully for the head, the crosshair will turn green, okay. and you can make a headshot, causing maximum <laughs> damage. I'm Left glad. click to fire. <laughs> left click to fire. The amount of ammo you have remaining is shown at the bottom left of the screen. Uh-huh. Alright, well how do I switch? I guess just... Oh, right, right, right. So I just uh, do this to reload faster. That's dirty. Okay, so. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, mouse sensitivity. Oh! Shit! 
Um, dude. Ow! He knocked me over. Want to unleash all my rage? Oh, I don't have that option. I'll just walk away from that. Alright, well, I'm down here. Come on down! The good lord has sent you! Without your help, I would have been devoured like a rabbit! Hard to miss you, Miller. I think they heard you all the way in Quebec City. Be careful! There's a pack of rabid wolves around here. How many? Dozens! Hundreds, maybe! They even blocked the road to my mill in the east. Go see by yourself if you want. Wow. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W Hood Company. Jeez, what a pussy. Alright. Hold on, I wanna do this now, so I have a shot available. Okay. Okay. It is loaded and ready. Should I need it? Yeah, I can hear the wolves, okay? <laughs> we get the idea, there's wolves in this game. Okay. And out of range. <sighs> what now? Fear Factor. Ooh, Fear Factor. When you're in combat, the Fear Factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. However, enemies aren't as afraid of you with each passing second, in which case the icons start to get closer. When your enemy's fear factor is equal to yours, the icons touch and your enemies attack. Whoa. If you're running low on That's stamina, really cool. it's better to keep your distance and let it recharge. Be careful though, even if you have a higher fear factor, enemies will still attack you if you're too close. Management. When you attack multiple enemies at the same time, your chances for survival drop. No shit. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space out their attacks. Wow. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. First, every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Second, the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities the intimidating shout. Okay. Press the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. <laughs> Don't forget, the distance between the two icons is how long you have before the next attack. Take this time to reload your gun and let your stamina recharge. Lastly, the paw symbol over an enemy's head means it's next to attack. Always pay attention to them. So it's kind of like real time in turn-based combat. That's kind of interesting. I haven't seen anything like that. Oh! Oh dear. Damn. Okay, nice. Why am I not attacking? Q! This guy just blocked me on the ass. What's left of you, dang nabbit! Dude, that poor dog. Okay. That's your breath, old man. Uh -oh. Okay, 
Okay, that's a little creepy in the background. That's my brother. I turn my back for two seconds and he's in hot water. I'd better get back to the cabin as quick as I can. Okay then. Alright, first of all... What is that? Status of building... Oh shit! Alright, well I gotta get... Drink the Canadian whiskey by pressing 1. Okay. I, oh, I guess I have to do that. That wasn't really much of a special attack. See you there. Okay, that wasn't quite what I had in mind. It's kind of like tower defense almost. Huh. So you have to protect buildings. Oh, sweet. Did I win? Did I kill all the bad guys? I think I killed all the bad guys. Yeah, look at that motherfucker. Grabbing a drink real quick. Oh. They speak to me. I hear them. But especially I I see. I see the beasts. They were sent by the devil. Okay then, that's not weird at all. What happened? I don't know. She started shaking like a crazy person. Then she let out an awful scream and fell to the ground. Damn it, I asked you to watch her. There was nothing I could do. Go get Dr. Lamontang. I don't know what happened, but the bridge to Wolf's Veil was burnt down. We'll have to wait till morning. Hmm. Crack my neck in the background. Hope you can't hear that. When the soul of a human is corrupted by the devil, it can escape the body at nightfall to go werewolf. The soul can then locate a wolf or dog and possess it. Soon after, the animal grows to a monstrous side intellect. <laughs> the werewolf is a cunning and relentless predator that will often lead large packs of wolves. This sounds horrifying. <laughs> I don't want to run into any werewolves, even though that's kind of like the point of the game. Very resistant to all personal weapons, except those that are blessed. Recommended traps include hanging nets, spike trap, and wayside cross. Okay. So is this the next day, or is this like wave two? No, it's chapter two. Okay. Yeah, it's like the next day or something. My lord, forgive me. I was overcome with desire. What have I done? What have I done? You're only a man, LCR. Who's there? Who are you? Apparently the devil. But you just now invited me. When you tried to attack your servant Josephine after she'd refused your advances, I thought we had some affinities. But when you let the fire spread in your church after Josephine hit you with the candelabra, when you accused her in front of all the villagers of the crime that you had in fact committed, that was when I knew we were going to do great things together. <laughs> okay. The voice acting And that is what brings work. me here to make an offer you can't possibly refuse concerning your lovely and inaccessible servant. Oh. <laughs> well, strategy mode. Ooh, we get to strategize. In this mode, you are able to place traps in the forest strategically, planning your defense for the coming night. Okay. Oh. Hey there. What, what is she doing? Why, I don't like that. I don't like that. Stop doing it. That's not okay, woman. Get back down in that bed. Because, okay, that is just getting creepy. You can stop any time now. Seriously. I even feel the presence of a werewolf. Oh! So she's like a prophet or something. Omens. Omens. Oh, sweet. That's actually really cool. The omen cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help you plan your defense for the coming night. Huh. This shows the type of enemy that will attack. Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. 
This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. The attacking order of the Omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. Oh, that's handy. You can that's choose really nice which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. Okay. The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your house. <laughs> Good to know. If you click on a card, you'll see the enemy's path to their target. Plan oh. your strategy with the help of these omen cards. Yeah, that's incredibly helpful. Like, <laughs> can we have this shit in like World War II or something? Now that I know where the beasts are going to attack from, I'll set a wolf trap stop me at night. Oh, okay, well, that's cool. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I didn't want to put it there. Okay, well, maybe... Okay, I don't have the point. Okay, Wolf Trap. A tutorial movie for... Yes, I do want to watch a tutorial movie. That sounds the like Wolf fun. Trap. You can walk over your Wolf Trap without worry. You won't set it off. A Wolf Trap will automatically activate when an enemy walks over it. Okay. Okay. Lure them from under hanging trees. Well, wait a minute. They're not quite coming from there, though. So. Well, let me learn for myself, damn it! Yes, of course, because I don't know what these do. The hanging net. The number above the net represents the amount of enemies underneath your trap. Hmm. All you have to do is aim and shoot the net to bring it down on your enemies. Okay, finally... Uh, well, right, what about the werewolf? Well, I'm not ready. I'm not ready, man. I'm not ready for the night. still want to know, like, wave three, there's going to be a werewolf coming. Oh, he's going to run into that trap then. Can't do that. Okay, where are these guys going? Also under the trap. Hmm. Okay, and wave one. There's four wolves. Um, yeah, this should be easy enough, I think. To wear the big boy pants, we're starting the actual game. Kill all the werewolves. That's one. I didn't know I wasn't detected before. Whoa, who locked me down? stand under my own trap. Oh. Detection. Enemies can see and hear you. If an enemy gets too close to you, it will see you and attack. The circle around your hero on the minimap represents the sound he makes. When you move, you make more noise. Oh, that's really cool. An enemy will detect you if its dot on the minimap enters your circle. Certain actions, like firing your rifle or shouting, create a lot of noise. Wow. 
When an enemy hears you, a marker will appear at your feet. This marker represents the last place an enemy heard you. Oh, that is really All cool. enemies that heard you will go to this marker. If the enemy does not see or hear you again, he will leave the area after a short period of time, sure and the marker right disappears. That's really the cool. dashed circle on your mini-map is the range of your shout. Use this ability to lure enemies under your traps. Little critter. One, two, three. Is that it? No. Oh. Looks like I got one. Ow! Dick! <laughs> You don't have to tell me, Toys. Is my recharge done for Shell? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Whoa. No! No! God, that was a scary sound. Oh, okay. Note to self, I don't like werewolves. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, once he gets around this corner, I'm going to use my shout. Yeah! I'll see you burn in hell. I hope so, because I don't want to see this guy any other way. Lost him. There he is. Woo! Got him! That was easy. Hey, you're not so big now, are you? Huh? Complete <laughs> the second tutorial. Oh, that was just the tutorial? Shit. Hey, it might. So I guess these carry over then. Can you compare these maybe? Hmm. So, are these just like kills or is this like an item, like a fur item? I don't know, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> 